Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. There's always new items arriving each week as well as more summer seasonal items that have returned. So let's go check it out and see what's worth buying this week. Always like to take a moment to stop and check out the flowers and plants before we head in. No new plants this week, but how cute and pretty are these flowers? There's always so many to choose from. It's a holiday weekend, so treat yourself. We know that plums and cherries are back, but this week we have a hybrid of organic cherry plums. They are larger than a cherry, but much smaller than the size of a plum. You get one pound for $4.99. There's a new savory saute kit, which includes sliced white mushrooms and garlic butter. Add this to pasta or saute it with some chicken or add it to a casserole or mix in some rice with it and you have a quick meal for $4.99. I showed these habanero tortillas in a previous video highlighting only regional East Coast finds, but now they're finally being offered nationwide, which is exciting. The package says the spice level is medium hot with a hint of lime. For those of you who have tried it, do you think these are spicy? 10 flour tortillas for $2.69. And right next to it, I noticed these new organic white flour tortillas from the brand Maria and Ricardo's. 120 calories with 230 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of carbs, 3 grams of protein, and you get 8 tortillas for $2.99. The new sliced black truffle cheese has officially arrived. This will be great paired with a burger or as a fancy grilled cheese. Interesting, there's carob flour in it. I noticed that they also have carob in the truffle seasoning that comes out in the small jar during the holidays. I'm assuming carob has an earthy flavor to it, which is why they probably added it. Unfortunately, there's natural flavors in it, but this has microbial enzymes, so vegetarians can enjoy this one. You get 10 slices for $4.99. Also, look out for the new smoked ghost pepper cheddar cheese. My store didn't have it, but it's a trio of hot chili peppers, habanero, jalapeno, and hot ghost pepper, and it's $7.99 per pound. We saw the new cereal that is the Trader Joe's dupe of the Reese's Puffs and the peanut butter pillows last week. And this week there's new pizza seasoned crackers. Most of the reviews I've heard so far said that they weren't that great and they tasted a little stale, but you can be the judge of that. Sodium is on the higher side at 410 milligrams and all the ingredients look great with the exception of sunflower oil. You get 10 crackers for $249. Another new frozen food item has just arrived, ginger shrimp lo mein. Inside you will find a pack of wheat noodles. It's the same wheat noodles that Trader Joe's carries in the three pack and a medley of veggies including white cabbage, bell peppers, a pouch of raw shrimp, and a savory ginger shiitake sauce. Saute this in a pan or skillet and you have a quick convenient meal from freezer to stove. Here are the ingredients and this is made in Thailand and this is $5.99 a bag. Here's a sneak peek of another new item coming soon, roti with Thai red curry. You get three flaky layered flatbreads which you can dip into a spicy red vegetable curry. You can share this and have it as an appetizer or make this part of your meal for $3.99. Another fan favorite is back, the Celebration Cake Gelato is back for a second year. Let's take a closer look at it. Let me preface this by saying I'm not a big fan of birthday cake flavored anything unless it's actual birthday cake, so generally this ice cream flavor doesn't appeal to me, but oh my thighs, this gelato was delicious. I literally ate half the pint in one sitting last year because I just couldn't stop. This tasted exactly like birthday cake. You guys just saw on the ingredients all the natural flavors and the seed oils it took to achieve this accuracy. Anyway, the creaminess and the soft sponge cake pieces interrupted by the crunch of the rainbow sprinkles made for a delicious mouthfeel bite. Because they use a lot of gums in this ice cream like guar gum and carob bean gum, the texture is different than your typical ice cream and has almost a slight chew to it. Last year they didn't add enough sprinkles in so I'd like to think they saw my review on it because this year there were definitely more sprinkles but unfortunately there was literally only three small cake pieces in my pint this year. It's very sweet but honestly that's pretty on brand with all the seasonal Trader Joe's ice cream with the exception of the dairy free vegan yuzu ripple flavor. This is definitely one of the more addicting flavors I've tried and one pint is $3.79. And just a reminder Trader Joe's also carries sprinkles if you want to add more to it. Ube mochi is also back, purple yam ice cream surrounded by a sweet rice dough. This is probably my favorite mochi flavor they have. I was tempted to get it, but I picked up the Celebration Cake Gelato instead this time. You get six pieces for $4.99. I haven't seen these peanut butter caramel coated popcorn in my store in a little bit, but they're back. This has a strong peanut butter flavor and the caramel flavor is pretty mild, but it provides all the sweetness. So for peanut butter lovers, you will love this. These are vegan and a bag is $3.79. 
For those of you who like the enchilada sauce, stock up now while you can because unfortunately I have heard this is being discontinued. This is vegan but it does contain wheat flour in it so it's not gluten free. Unfortunately it also contains corn oil, soy oil, and canola oil and you can get a glass jar for $2.99. A new summer beverage, Guava Paloma Agua de Kiefer. This was inspired by the classic Paloma cocktail. GT's made another fermented drink combining tart and tropical flavors. It has grapefruit juice and guava puree along with a bit of habanero juice for a subtle hint of spicy with tangy water kefir that provides billions of probiotics and a glass bottle is $3.99. The peony blossom candles are still here for $3.99. The mango tangerine candles that I showed you last week have been recalled due to a fire hazard, so if you have one, you can return it for a refund. And that's it for shopping this week, but before I go, I wanted to share a review on the cinnamon crumb coffee cake mix. I had dinner at my neighbor's house, so I decided it was time to make this. It comes with a mix and also the cinnamon crumb topping. You will need two thirds cup of milk or water. I used a third cup of milk and a third cup of water, and then one egg, six tablespoons of butter or vegetable oil. I used three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of oil and then three and a half tablespoons of butter for the crumb topping. And here I'm just laying the crumb topping over the batter. And this is what it looked like before I put it into the oven. I baked this in my small toaster oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes and voila, here's how it came out. Some parts of the crust got a little bit more brown in some areas. The crumble is basically just cinnamon sugar so it's very sweet and the cinnamon flavor was really strong and concentrated. I wish it had something else in the topping like oats to make it more of a streusel topping because the topping was just way too sugary and intense. The cake itself was just a plain cake, a little heartier than sponge cake and slightly bread-like. Surprisingly, the guys of the group enjoyed this more than the females and I think that's because the crumb topping was just too sweet for the girls. Overall, I really enjoyed the cake part and I definitely would repurchase this when it comes back in season just for the cake portion of it. And I'll probably just save the cinnamon sugar to add to other things like toast. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next video, ciao guys!